Welcome back to Lego by the Book. Today I'm going to be building Ninjago Polybag Sets. Uh, three of these were sent to me by the inestimable Sparky Santos. At least I assume these both were. One of them did not, in fact, have a label, so it could be from anyone. But I know that two of the other ones were definitely from Sparky the Saint. And then I believe this one I acquired myself from Bricks and Wheels. Uh, mostly because I wanted the hood to be able to build a Forceman um, minifig. Plus it has nifty parts. So, we're going to start... I think we'll start with that one. Just build a quick mini, for that is all that it is. And he has black pants and they're jeans with a pattern on them. Nifty. We then have only the one face. Serious face. And a hood. I believe the hood will make an excellent Forstman character. Which I'll probably just use that head and a different torso and legs. And there he is. This was set 30609. And I don't believe it has a name. So, there it is. They actually gave you instructions, or is it just a poster? I hope it's a poster. It's a poster! It's Lloyd. Very, very cool. I like it. It does have instructions, technically. Yeah! Posters. They should put posters back in the Lego sets. I missed posters. Plus, I want to plaster my walls with posters. Alright, well, I believe we have more. I assume this is also Lloyd? Sure looks like him. It's got his eyebrows. Alright, we're going to build Lloyd a car. Actually, let's build a dragon, then we'll build a car, then we'll build another dragon. This is set... 30535 probably also has a name. No, no, there's more parts. I got them all? I think I got them all. Alright. Oh no. Here we go. We build our mini. He appears to have a band aid. He also has a serious face and a not so serious face. This one will be made with serious face. Oh no, his sword is warped. Huh? His sword is warped. Alright, we got our mini. Nifty. Now, right, let's build a thing. Some sort of a dragon. How how are you all? Have you have any of you gotten what did you get? Did you get any good sets for Christmas? Did you what was your favorite one? Uh, what sets are you looking forward to? I want that blacksmith shop in a dirty, dirty oh, there's another page. A dirty, dirty way. I will be acquiring it as soon as it comes out. It's supposed to come out in February, which would be cool because it means I can get it for myself for my birthday. And I am looking forward to it. I, I was, and I may still, I was going to add it to my medieval village. The one problem is that it is a much more detailed set as far as you know, design, it's got a lot more uh, complicated detailing in, in the fancy, you know. Not the hyper-realistic that the original idea that was submitted was, which of course people have complained about, that they, they simplified it and took a lot of what, you know, made people vote for it. Uh, because it is an ideas set, so it was one that we the builders, the, you know, the the fans, we voted on it on the LEGO Ideas page because we thought it looked really cool and we wanted to make a, a set out of it. And then it didn't end up being as fancy and detailed as the original design was. And so, of course, some people are disappointed in that and some people less so. I'm not terribly disappointed. It would have been, one, way more expensive if they'd made it the way it was originally designed. Um, but it would have been nearly impossible for me to be able to realistically use it in my diorama as it was originally designed. As it is, 
while it is more detailed than any of my current stuff, I believe I will either be able to... Ah, tore his feet off. Uh, I should be able to either simplify it um, enough to make it match the aesthetic of my castle, or um, I can raise the standard of all of my other buildings, which will require a lot of parts and uh, could get pretty expensive. What I will, what is really more likely, however, uh, is that I will meet in the middle. So I will make some of, I will make my, my current stuff a little bit more detailed to get it up to the standard and reduce the blacksmith shop a little bit. And between the two, I should be able to, like I said, meet in the middle and come up with an acceptable compromise. Uh, I don't mind making my stuff a little bit more detailed. And I don't mind making that one a little bit simpler. I am going for a very specific aesthetic with my castle, um, but I think I could reasonably make it a little bit fancier without too much trouble. A little more detail here, a little more detailing there. All right, so we have a little little dragon with wingy things and a flame shooting out of his tail. Uh, uh, very cool. Oh no, I got the horns the wrong way. Horns are supposed to go back. Okay, there we go. Alright, dragon number the first one. The usual plethora of spare parts, and in fact, a considerably higher... Up <laughs> Really a very impressive collection of spare parts for so for a poly bag. Uh, extra weapons, extra horns, and then just a couple of your usual extra little stud parts. So that's neat. Alright, now we will build the Lloyd Mobile. This is set 30532. Come on. Come on. I got them. Okay. Alright. We of course start with our mini. I don't know if this is an older design or a newer design, but it's got the, the two-part ninja mask. We again have a serious and a smarmy face. Always good to have options. And then, uh -huh. A little bit more traditional looking robes there as opposed to the jeans that he had in the other one. No weapon on him yet. All right, let's build his go-kart mobile thing. So what are your thoughts on my my plan for the blacksmith shop. What are your thoughts on the shop? Did they simplify it too much? Did they simplify it enough? Uh, I really like the look of it. Um, the roof is the part that kind of is going to stick out the most because currently all of my village roofs are traditional, just made out of slopes. And having that fancy tiled roof is definitely going to stick out. And I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that. If I want to replace the roof with a more traditional style roof, or if I want to um, stick with that one and maybe alter a few of my existing roofs to be non-standard roofs, add you know some tile-style roof 
either. I, I might have some the parts in some colors, but I'd be kind of surprised if I was able to do it without buying a lot of parts. Not that that's really going to stop me. I did discover, I ordered some parts recently for building um, part, uh, more buildings in my village. I ran out of some key parts because some of those houses, you know, they, they take a lot of certain parts. And so I was obliged to place a large bricklink order to order some parts in bulk. And the shop I ended up ordering from ended up being relatively local. I ended up being down in Oregon. Uh, and so the, the shipping, it arrived way sooner than I was expecting. It was a couple of days. Um, and so that was neat. They had pretty much everything I needed. I ended up going back because when I, I, I placed the order for parts, I realized that I'd really only placed order for downstairs parts to build the first floor. And I was also now running low on parts for the upstairs. And so I went back and I placed another order from that same shop. Because I was very pleased with their performance. The, the shop was lots of bricks. And they definitely live up to their name. They had a huge variety of just regular bricks. As well as all the specialty bricks I'm sure. But I was just after regular standard bricks. But I was after them in a large variety of colors. The sand green and medium blues. And, and some colors I don't usually, you know, didn't have a whole lot of. And they had everything I needed. Okay. That is a surprisingly detailed and articulate little buggy looking thing. It's got fins that can, I don't know, you can pop up or lay them down. I assume that's meant to be a feature. The steering wheel is actually angled as well. It's got two swords, two size. It had to come with an extra side. The usual plethora of spare parts, an extra little um, claw, gold claw thing, an extra lower bandana bit, the usual spare parts. Oh, it rolls very nicely. I assume they had pretty much one of these for every one of the characters, or maybe he got the go-kart, this guy got the dragon, the other one got, I'm sure, probably one of a boat or a, who knows. Uh, but it's neat. So I, I do not follow Ninjago at all, so I have no idea who these characters are or what this is all about. I'm sure somebody out there who is more familiar with it could inform me in the comments who these characters are, why he has a go-kart. Alright, I'm just going to build another one because I might as well. Back to my question. What do you think of the plan to reduce the level of detail to the blacksmith shop down a little bit and increase the detail of my existing ships? Existing <laughs> ships. Uh, existing buildings. I do plan to do actually the same thing with my, my ships at some point. Um, I want to bring them all up to at least the level of the Barracuda Bay ship. Uh, again, I'm not nearly as interested in hyper-realism. That's very, very popular, and a lot of people have done just absolutely gorgeous builds. But I prefer uh, a little bit less. I want more than... than like the original sets, the the Black Seas, Bar the original Barracuda, and the Skull's Eye Schooner, and and all of those. I want to keep their basic design, and I definitely want to keep their coloring. I just want to increase the the detail, similar to how I, I went with the castle, where the castle is based off the old King's Castle from the late '80s. 
uh, but it has been made a lot bigger and a lot more detailed, uh, a lot more realistic. Uh, all of the staircases work and, and all of that kind of detailing. I want to do something very, very similar with my pirate table, where I increase the detail. And that should be a lot of fun. There are some more than a few pirate ship builds that I have seen, even fairly recently, that I really want to try to emulate, build my own, hopefully it doesn't cost too much to acquire the parts, though I, I may have a lot of them. I have a lot of brick, but I also have a lot of stuff built, and, and some of these require some fairly a large number of a very specific part that I may or may not have in sufficient quantities, but there are some more historical ship design, so they actually look like um, frigates, proper frigates. And I have always been a big fan of that particular style of frigate, the USS Constitution era. Um, though probably, they're, they're generally a lot, you know, smaller. They're generally not going to be a, a 44, or a, yeah, 44 gun? I think they were a 44 gun ship. Um, but... Definitely a lot more detail, and I want to try to build one of them. I've seen I saw one recently where it was it was that that style of build, that level of realism, uh, but they did it in the colors of the Black Seas Barracuda, and it was very very clearly meant to be a frigate version of the Black Seas Barracuda, and it was just so beautifully done. Uh, and I want to I want to do that. Um, probably do one like the Black Seas Barracuda because I do own I think three Black Seas Barracudas now? Question mark? Um, or most of three Black Seas Barracudas. All right. The same plethora of spare parts because it's not actually accidental. It's done on purpose, I understand, in order to make sure that they don't accidentally have too few, they always aim to have too many of these parts. And that way they ensure that you don't end up missing the little ones, because they're the ones most likely to go missing, so they they put in spares. And that's lovely. Now we have a pair of these. Neat little brick-built dragon. I don't know if it's meant to be, to emulate something that's supposed to be alive, or if it is meant to be a vehicle, you know, a mechanical flying machine. It definitely doesn't appear to have sufficient wing material to actually fly, so uh, this may actually supposed to be an engine of some sort. Rocket. Rocket dragons! Who knows? Alright. That's, those are my Ninjago builds. Lloyd and his scooter. And... Whoever this guy is, I don't actually have any clue. Did it ever say? Was there? Was there? Was there? Did did it name them when you built them? Um, no. No idea. You out there? Who's this guy? Explain your spell. All right. That was fun. Let me know. Give me some comments. I might even read them. Thank you for watching.